This is George Corpse Grinder Fisher of Cannibal Corpse, and you're listening to MetalStorm.net. Uh, first time on Summer Slaughter. How has it been going so far? Oh, um, great. It's been hot. Well, actually, some places have been okay, but yeah, mostly hot. And um, is there a band on the bill that you watch Relentless every day? Because <coughs> um, I just saw Alex inside, um, and he was watching most of Go Tours. Yeah, so. I would watch them, but um, this interview was coming up, so I, I just wouldn't. I had to, you know, do some, do some other stuff. So oh. um, yeah, Go Tour watch. You know what I mean? I try to watch a little bit of all the bands, you know. But if if I probably watched anyone the most, it's been those guys or maybe Exhumed. You know. Nice. And you just did a tour with Exhumed too? Yes. Not that yeah, long ago? Yeah. It, it, it would probably be between Exhumed, Goat Horn, and uh, John for a Cowboy that I've like, watched the most of. But I've probably caught more of the other bands than I've, I've even, you know, right. think I have, you know. It's just a long tour. You just start. Yeah, know. it's yeah, true. <clears throat> um, you are promoting your new album, Torture. So how many new songs A are you playing and how hard is it to make the set <coughs> because your fans want to hear the oldies but yeah it's um yeah it's kind of hard because we're only playing an hour but we're playing four new songs so we play like 15 total so that leaves 11 more 11 songs you know out there um but you know it's hard i mean you know i'm you know we're gonna be back you know we're doing our own tour eventually and hmm. uh we'll probably you know we'll be playing a longer set so you know, we don't want to crowd up with too many new songs, but we want people to, you know... To hear the new stuff. To hear the, hear the new stuff. They uh, haven't heard it. You know? uh, and speaking of, what is the fan reaction to the new stuff? Oh, it's been great, you know. Everyone's, you know, uh, a lot of kids know the lyrics, you know. I see them, you know, singing the lyrics, and, you know, they know the songs. And, you know, like, there's a couple of songs we, like, go right into. Like, we do the first three songs off the new album. It's two of them, well, well... We do uh, Demented Aggression and into Sarcophagic Frenzy, Frenzy, and then we do Scourge of Iron. But I don't announce either Demented or Sarcophagic. I just announce Scourge of Iron. Mm -hmm. And I don't announce Encased in Concrete, which we play as well. And that's when you know that people are knowing the new songs because when they hear them, you know, when you hear a new song and you hear it live, if you don't know the album very well, you're kind of, you know, you figure it out. It's, oh, I don't know this song, so it must be new. Right. Well, you know, we're seeing people that, you know, they know the songs. So. Cool. Uh, now, on your album cover, because you guys had, you know, very controversial album covers, I think some of them are still, you know, banned in, in Germany as yes. of today. Yeah. And on the new one, you actually have, like, one of those flip thingies that... Yeah, it just covers the, yeah. the main, you know, Thing. Uh, artwork, the, yeah. the, the rest of the artwork. Uh, was that your idea or was that the label's idea? I think it's probably just both. We we, we know it's going to happen. We know that they're going to want us to, you know, if we have something Sounds that's right. really brutal, they're going to want us to put it there. So it's pretty much they send us ideas of how we want to do it, how we want to cover it up, and then we just go for it, go go you know go from there. Uh, you know, but we, you know we want to keep. You know, I, I like the brutal covers, and, and if it's, if that's what we have to do to do it, that's fine. Because you still can pull it out, and there's the cover. You know, right? It's it's nothing um, you know changed, but. You know, some people don't understand. Some people get, you know, well, you shouldn't even have to do that. Well, yeah, you have to. It's just the way it is. Right. It's, you know what I mean? It's not, it's, it is a form of censorship, but, you know, some stores aren't going to carry it. And if you want to get, you know, the message out there, or the, not the message, the, the music out there, then, you know. Right. You know, want to get your CD. Did you approach the new album different than your other ones? Or did they? Uh, uh, you know, I mean, that's more a question for those guys, you know. You know, I, I think that in the end, what we want to do is write, you know, good death metal, you know, and <clears throat> obviously it has to be fast and brutal, and yeah, maybe there was a little bit of, you know, the technical side of things cut down on, you know, um, that's not bad though, not no. to me, you know, no, so, it's not. Um, you know, I mean, we can always come back and, and do an album with a couple more technical songs, you know, the next time, hmm. uh, or we can stick to, to what we've been doing now, but, you know, I think in general, you know, we, we have the sound that we want, you know, we're playing what we want to play and just with a few injections of maybe some technical or, or tempo changes or or not really as many it's a good thing and, and you know it's really hard to to uh, think about whether we're going to do that in the future but uh, I think on this album there might have been a conscious effort to, to maybe you know tone, tone things down and just right. make it more straightforward right uh, again you went with Eric Rutan but this time you guys took him out to Texas yeah uh, was he reluctant not doing it in his own studio, or was he up for the challenge? Well, I didn't go to Texas. I did the vocals. And we did we did part of it. We did some of the guitars and some of the vocals, and the mix and everything at his studio, 
Madden Studios mm-hmm. in St. Petersburg. <clears throat> but um, I I don't I don't know uh you know, since I wasn't there I don't know what you know what I don't want to speak for him about his experience but you know I've been there before myself. Right. Um, and I think it's great. You know, I think it's. He uh, did a couple albums there, right? Like three yeah. albums there. Mm-hmm. You know, but I but I was there for the whole thing. Um, but I I, uh, I love recording there. You know, I liked it. Um, I'm sure he had a good time. You know. Um, you know, there's it's it's different. You know, obviously you you're, you have your own studio. Right. You want to be in your own studio. You're comfortable around your your you know, your environment. Mm. But um, yeah, you know, I mean, I know those guys. You know, they like going down there because you know you're 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 away from everything. It's you know, self-contained. It's, it's very secluded. It's very yes. secluded, mm-hmm. and um, you can concentrate on you know just what you're there for. So, cool. um. You know, I don't know what we're gonna do for the next album. It's obviously a while away, but uh, you know, I'm 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 willing to do anything. I'll go anywhere. I don't care. It's all good. And uh, because you were speaking of you know vocals, you've been in the band now what, seventeen, eighteen years. Well, not many people do anymore. You know. Yeah, I mean, he's been doing Six Feet Under for so long now that uh, you know, I mean, there's people obviously, you know, that are gonna always ask. You know, there's always gonna be a question like, you know, that has him in it, like this one. But I really haven't got too many people. Every once in a while, somebody will yell his name or something, and I think that as that, that is more because I'm known for going on tirades, you know, on stage and just screaming, threatening everybody and everything. And I think people throw things, and and I don't think they throw things to hurt anybody. Like deliberately, oh, I'll throw this quarter in his leg, and if it hits him. He'll go off, you know, mm. and it's funny, you know, yeah, because they know I'm not really, you know, no, you're not. I'm, I'm, I'm not violent, you know right? I mean? <laughs> so, uh, and people do yell his name, but it's really rare. I don't think anybody. I think everybody's kind of, you know, the people that that, that sided with him when the when he's when he was kicked out of the band, you know, they're they're still fans of his music, and, and that's fine because you know that's part of the history of the band. You know, that's, right. that's I don't have a problem with that at all. You know, yeah, we do the new songs. I do them differently than he did. You know. Um, so, get over it. I really haven't yeah. had too many, you know, too many comparisons about it. Most people have just, you know, you know, the understand. They, they 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 pretty much accepted the fact he's got six feet under. You know, cannibal cannibal corpses with me. I mean, I've been in the band, you know, almost three times as many years as mm-hmm. he has. You know, he was in the band oh seven years. So yeah, twice as long. Right. Over you know, yeah. over twice sure. as long, twice as many years. So. You know, it's what it is. I mean, he's part of the history, and, and that's good. You know, it, that's a good part of the history of the band. You know, right. obviously, that, right. that's the foundation for the band. You know, so hmm. I don't, I don't have a problem with that. If people are still angry that he's gone, well, you know, I mean, it's been a while. Yes. And if you haven't gotten over it now, you're not going to. And I don't. And you know, if you still want to come see us, that's cool. If you like his voice better, that's fine. You know, if you like what I do too, that's fine. If you like me better, that's fine. Whatever you. You know, if you're still coming to the shows, you obviously like something about the band. Um, whether you prefer Chris or, my, or me, that's not, you know, that's right. not my call. That's right. up to, that's up to people. But it's not been that bad. You know, really, you know, I, I really, even when I first got in the band, I think most people were like, all right, that's just the way it is. And, and you know, I mean, he, you know, he did four albums with the band, so, you know, that's, that's a lot, you know, mm. so. Um, our editor in chief um, compared you guys to the Motorhead of Death Metal. <laughs> What is your take on that statement? That's, I mean, that's not a bad uh, band to be compared to. Motorhead's awesome. You know? oh. I mean, you know, Lemmy's, uh, <clears throat> he's still doing it. You know, he's hes definitely someone to you know, look up to for as long as he's been doing it <clears throat> and putting out, you know, <clears throat> records, still touring, you know, still going strong. You know, um, that's not a bad uh, comparison at all. I would never... I would never uh, take any um, offense to that at all because mm. you know Motorhead's awesome. You know, I mean, you know they've, you know, tr- I mean we've been doing it for a long time. They've been doing it a lot, a lot longer. longer. And, you know, yeah. Lemmy's been at it for a long, long time. He's made great music. He's done, you know, obviously a lot for for you know metal, you know, and music in general. So, mm. uh, you know, that well, that's a flattering you know compliment. You know, mm. Because I mean, you know, and I, and I can understand that you know the. Comparison. Do comparison, yeah. you know, to to a certain degree, you know. I mean, uh, I drink some Jack Daniels, but I know he drinks a lot more. <laughs> so, so uh, but yeah, no, no, that's it's awesome. I mean, you know, we love, we all love Motorhead, and you know, I never actually ever got to, gotten to meet any of those guys, but uh, but you met Lemmy. No, never, never, never <clears throat> I never have. 
Uh, wow. Maybe Pat has met him before, because Pat, you stood out in L.A., and I, I know Red Lemmy frequents the Rainbow. Yes. Um, but, uh, no, I've never met him. Wow. We played a festival. We played some festivals with them. I remember, I think one time we played, uh, I think it was one of the Gods of Metal in 2010, maybe, and we had to leave. We had to leave to get a, get you know get to the airport, mm. and they were playing, and I don't think we got to watch them. Mm. And a couple of times, I, 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 uh, yeah, I think we probably, I've never met them, I know that much, you know mm. what I mean? But I don't think, I've, I've never seen them either, so, you know, we've always been on tour. Or, right, different schedules. You know, like Suicidal Tendencies, that's another band, like, we played a... Uh, <clears throat> we played uh, Heavy Montreal and Heavy Toronto, and they were playing one of the days that we weren't. And it was like, I've never seen them, and I love them, you know what I mean? So it's like one of those bands, and it's always, you know, like, you know, I've seen tons of bands, and, and you know, been oh. fortunate, but, yeah. um, and, and met lots of people, great people, and, and there's some bands and people I never got to meet. You know, Lemmy's one of them. I've never seen Motorhead, and I've never got to see how suicidal you know, Wow. So. Okay, yeah, well, here you go. Sucks. Here, uh, next year is going to be your 25th, 25th year anniversary. Anything special planned? Europe, the States? We have a couple of things we're talking about, but nothing we really have set in stone that we can that we can tell to anybody. You right. Know? Because we've been getting a lot of questions about it, you know. Oh. Um, but there are some things, like, in the works. We'll, we'll figure it all out, and then, uh, you know, when, when, it's, uh, when the time comes, we'll okay. announce cool. it. Uh, what uh, for Cannibal Corpse after this tour? Um, rest. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, um, I have this damn bus hack. Mm. But um, yeah, we did uh, Europe. We did six weeks in Europe. And then we had ten days off, and then we came on this tour, which is five and a half, six weeks as well. Mm. And we have all of uh, we get home the twenty sixth of this month, so we'll be home in six days. And then we have off all of September, oh. which is really good. Just really need a break, you know. Um, and then after that, we're going to Australia and hopefully um, <clears throat> China and Korea and some, you know, going to go to some places we've never been to. Asia, nice, yeah. nice, cool. Yes. cool. Now, um, last question. Um, a lot of newer metal bands or death metal bands side, uh, you guys, Obituary, uh, uh, Dia side, Morbid Angel as their main influences. So in your opinion, what makes Florida the death metal mecca of the U.S.? It's hot like hell. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I'll, you know, well, think about it. Like, um, you know, I think Obituary is one of the only bands like from the Tampa area that are, you know, from that area, you know. Because um, you moved down there once you started yeah, singing. I moved for, from, from Maryland. Mm -hmm. I was back and forth. When I was in Monstrosity, I came back and forth. We started in Fort Lauderdale, and I came back and forth to Fort Lauderdale, and then we moved to Tampa, and then I was back and forth to Tampa from, from Maryland, from Baltimore. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, uh, Cannibal moved down from Buffalo. Yeah. And, uh, so there's, you know, uh, Morbid Angel, I know they weren't from Tampa originally. Um, Deicide, you know, some of them uh, I know aren't originally from there, so... Malevolent Creation, too, they were from yeah, the they're East from Coast. Buffalo. No, they're, they're from Buffalo. They're from Buffalo? Yeah, yeah. They're, they, they're, a lot of those guys moved. Now, some of the guys in the band now are from different parts. Right. But, but uh, yeah, they moved down to Fort Lauderdale. They were down in Fort Lauderdale before, you know, I met mm. them in Fort Lauderdale when I first came down to do Monstrosity. So, oh. um, like Lee from Monstrosity, he's from Inglewood. You know, he's from Florida. Right. Mark and Herc, the original uh, bass player of Monstrosity, he was from up north. John Rubin, I believe, was from down in Florida, I'm pretty sure. Mm. So, um, you know, there's a lot of guys that are, you know, from there, and then there's a lot of the guys in the bands that just started elsewhere and just came to Tampa. You know, and obviously Morris Elm, you know, everyone was recording there, <clears throat> um, even bands that you know, obviously never moved there, but uh, that's why I think everybody kind of just, you know, Morris Elm helped to put it, you know, on the, on the map, because every, almost every I death metal album was coming out was recorded there. Right. So, uh, you know, and then obviously Cannibal Movement down there, so you had, before you know, and even, you know, Death in, in Orlando. Right. You had, you know, the four big bands in, that were in, you know, Death Metal, Death, Mormon Angel, Obituary, <clears throat> DSI, we were five, and Cannibal. Oh. And we're all living in Florida, you know, oh. at one point. <clears throat> and um, still really are, you know, everybody's still down there. So that's why everybody looks at it like that, you know, because that's really where... The magic know, happens? Yeah, I mean, you know, look, there, there, <laughs> yeah. there was, look, I think you know, one of the first death metal bands, the first death metal band really to me is Possessed, and you know that's uh, out in California, you know. Oh. But you know, um, 
I think for where Death Row is at now, most people, you know, they view, and I wouldn't say it's the beginning, but they view Tampa as the home for, you know, a lot of Death Row bands now, but and there are new, there are bands coming from out of there, but there's a lot of Death Row bands from, from everywhere. everywhere. So, right, true. So, um, it's still regarded as that, you know, it's, it's, it's got that tag and it's, that's the way it's going to be, and, you know, I, I think that's fine with me, but, you know, I just think in general there's no real capital, you know what I mean? There's a lot of bands in Sweden, you can, you know, Sweden, obviously, for years, yeah. would argue, you would, would argue that yeah. at point, you know, so. True. Oh, uh, last word to your fans? Um, what well, the last word is to Stay your metal. Fans. Stay metal for the horde. Oh, um, last word to your fans. Stay metal for the horde.